Hello everyone, my name is Rodrigo Marino. I'm Bryce Prestwich. I'm Logan Sanford. My name is Sean Weeks. And this is our drone, Neil. Utah Valley University's entry into the 2021 IM3D competition. We decided to continue the design concepts we established in last year's build and focused our efforts on reducing the overall weight of the vehicle, decreasing part count, and streamlining assembly by integrating components and fasteners. All parts were printed out of rigid thermal plastic, except for the wheel track and compliant gripper, which were printed out of flexible TPU. The drone has four main components, the body, the arms, the electronics deck, and the gripper tool. The body of the drone functions as a mounting point for all other components. The print layer orientation gives it strength in the main load directions, and the design allows it to be printed using little support material. The electronics plate acts as a mounting point for all critical electronics as well as the gripper tool. It can easily clip in and out of the body so that all electronic hardware can be serviced. We chose to use a compliant mechanism to grip the payload. It prints in a single part, has a flexible gripper which can handle the payload in any orientation, decreases weight from multiple parts, and guides the payload into position. This compliant design actuates with a single input force and is controlled using a position sensor. The compliant mechanism allowed us to combine four main systems, the guides for the block, the gripping jaws, the linkage to the actuator, and the position sensor are all incorporated in the same compliant mechanism. Uh, the design of the compliant gripper required many iterations. Small changes to the geometry of the gripper made a significant difference in the force and buckling characteristics. The arms hold both the propeller motor and track drive system. A three-point track system was used to decrease friction and stress on the motor shaft, allowing the drone to crawl faster. A finite element analysis was conducted to identify stress concentrations in the arms and change geometries accordingly. The dovetails on the arms are designed to slide into the drone body in a circular motion, which creates a very good hold in the horizontal and vertical directions. The arms are then locked in place using 3D printed C-clips and a single fastener in each corner. The 2021 drone design improved upon last year's by reducing the weight, size, number of fasteners, motors, and 3D printed part count. Through iterative optimization, Neil is compact, agile, very power efficient and able to complete the tasks of the competition with ease. We're going to talk about the components that make up the main drone, how the drone is assembled, you see here that we have the main electronics deck. This is where all of our important components are mounted. We have our flight controller, our speed controller. We have our motor drive controller here on the bottom. We have our compliant gripper controller. We have everything here on quick connectors. Then for our video link, we have an HD video transmitter here. We have a flight control antenna here. That's how we control the drone. We have a five volt and 12 volt regulator. You can see these two here are bigger than these two here. And uh, we've got our compliant mechanism here that's all mounted on the electronics deck. For each one of our motor pods, we have our two motors. The arms are joined with the same track system. You see here that we've got our main drive wheel. We're using a printed track. It's a really low durometer track so we can make sure that it flexes as we need to smooth. We have our brushed motor for our motor control. For drone assembly, we'll take one of our complete electronics decks and we'll put it inside our canopy here. Then we'll take one of our motor pods and we'll slide it in on the dovetails, rotate to lock. Then we'll take our locking clips and we'll place them in the correct positions. We'll go ahead and we'll lock those down in all four positions. The arms are universal, so you can assemble multiple arm units. If one breaks, swapping an arm system out on the drone is very quick and straightforward. 
We'll go ahead and button this up, plug in our quick connectors, and we're ready to fly.